This episode was brought to you by the number 42. Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is John Fillmore and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Analyst. Alright, let's get right back into where we were before. Um, as you can see, I changed my team around a little bit, so let me bring up uh, the team builder for a sec. Yes, we still have the um, the Charizard, the Venusaur, the Superior. I did actually uh, change this to Amnesia. It used to be Earthquake, but I want to change it to Amnesia. Um, it's a little bit more... Um, special defensive that way, if I can pull it off, that is. Um, and then you got the Superior, Miracle Seed, uh, Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse. I used to have uh, the Safeguard, but I put the Hidden Ability Ground in there. And the reason why is because I actually need a couple of Ground types in there. Uh, Heatron is a very uh, powerful opponent against me, right? I have two that are kind of weak. Um, and... Uh, if I had the Regirock, then he could just pull off an Earth Power or a Flash Cannon uh, and kill that. So I switched out the Regirock. Um, the Arcanine was also... I mean, it, don't get me wrong, I like Arcanine very much. Uh, it's just, it wasn't really working for this team. Uh, it, uh, I, 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 I thought that maybe something else would be more effective in its place, right? So I threw some things around. It's still contrary, uh, still timid nature, blah blah blah. Right, and then um, I can pull off a couple of Leaf Storms, then he might actually send out the Heatron, and then I have uh, enough power and surprise and actually uh, can take out that Heatron, right? And if Superior should fail, then I got uh, the Gliscor for one. Um, so this is a Gliscor. Uh, I've never really worked with one, but uh, I have battled a little bit, and it has actually done... Uh, it has actually done uh, quite a lot of... Uh, of, of cool tricks, I suppose, right? It's not the hardest hitter, uh, but it is still pretty, uh, it, 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 it's pretty useful, right? So, I got the Poison Heal, of course, the Toxic Orb, of course, um, Swords Dance, um, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Protect, it's a little bit more physical, uh, with some, uh, pretty decent, uh, defense, actually, that's actually some really good defense, um, Special Defense, meh, oh well, but I beefed it up a little bit, uh, try to make it as defensive as possible, um, I could also make it as, you know, r well rounded as possible, but you know what? I'd rather not. So I'm just gonna stick with the hundred. I can't do that. There we go. I'm just gonna stick with the hundred twenty two, hundred. There we go. And then the hundred eighty for HP. So it's it's uh, it, it's pretty bulky, right? And then could set up the stealth rock. I used to actually have poison jab, um, but I might not uh, need that. And I can just set up the stealth rock this way. And I have the sludge bomb here, so. Uh, it might just be um, better to put the Stealth Rocks in there, but hey, who knows, we'll see. Uh, then I got the Meowstic. Now, the Meowstic uh, with Light Clay, is, uh, it is a Prankster. Usually, I work with uh, Pranksters and give it a Focus Sash, but in this case, this is really to set up the Light Screen and the Reflect, uh, so I want to have the Light Clay, uh, so that uh, the Light Screen and Reflect stay up for 8 turns instead of 5. Um, and then I got the Fake Out, of course, uh, and the Heal Bell. Now, I don't have Protect on here, uh, and I used to have Protect, but I'm like, eh, you know what? After I use Fake Out and hit both of these screens, which usually I can, not always, but usually, uh, then, you know, there's not really much point for me to, you know, do anything anymore. So, you know what? I don't really want to do the Protect. If I want to, you know, just put the, the Heal Bell in there. I might um, change some things around, maybe like uh, Foul Play or something like that, uh, but we'll see what happens. I like the heal bell for now, uh, because, you know, if I have a paralysis, if I have a burn or anything like that, you know, it's just gonna, uh, it, it's gonna work well for, uh, for all of these guys, except for maybe the Gliscor, but he has the Toxic Orb, so, uh, it'll, uh, it'll, you know, activate again, and then, you know, I can just keep getting health back from my Toxic Orb. Uh, and then we got the Tyranitar, uh, same Tyranitar as last time, this time I actually have Unnerve, um, so, you know, I don't want to have the Sandstream ability because that'd be a little counterintuitive against, you know, or with a, uh, a Sun team. So I gave it an unnerve. Make sure that uh, none of the opponents can actually eat their berries, which is nice. You know, no citrus berries, no shuka berries, um, none of those uh, gnarly little berry types, right? So that's kind of what it looks like at the moment. Oh, yeah. And by the way, um, I know that like last week um, when we were working with uh, Tyranitar, that uh, I gave it an insurance, uh, or assurance, not insurance, you twit. Assurance, man alive. Okay, so I gave it an assurance, 
And now I actually have the fake out, right? So what I can do, I can set up the Meow Stick and the Tyranitar first. I can fake out. The Tyranitar can then use Assurance, because of course it's slower than a fake out. Fake out has like priority two, I suppose. Um, so, you know, it, uh, it can then fake out the opponent and then just crush it with uh, Assurance, right? Uh, and that way, you know, Meow Stick is also just a really good uh, lead with Superior, maybe not with Gliscor. I think Gliscor is probably the best to have it a little bit later in the team because Gliscor can be taken out quite quickly uh, with an Ice move, same as Landorus, right? It's a it's a flying uh, ground type, so it needs to be uh, a little bit cautious of those Hidden Power Ice and those Ice Beams, right? And then um, I can, you know, set it up with a Superior. Uh, I can also just send up the Charizard and the Venusaur. That's also a pretty good uh, setup, so I think it works a little better, right? So, anyway, um, I have been actually working around with it a little bit. I know I keep tracing, sorry, sorry. Um, I keep tracing uh, this V pattern on uh, this Charizard, but I won't touch the mouse. Um, okay, so uh, I have been working with uh, my team a little bit, uh, but, um, you know, I I've been changing a couple of things around here and there, uh, but this is going to be our first battle uh, together with this sort of new-ish team, um, so uh, hopefully that'll work well, but um, I will go and look for one, and I will be back when I have found one. Alright, um, I'm going to... Ooh, well this is definitely a, uh, a Mega Salamence team. Uh, he has the Meowstic, probably has the Fake Out, I'm not quite sure what else he has, because uh, Meowstic has a uh, quite big move pool. Uh, we got the... this guy, who probably also has Fake Out, the Weavile. Uh, he's very quick. Hmm. I... Oh, this is a... Uh... Okay, this is a Sylveon. If I can take care of it with this guy. Okay, so I think I'm going to start it with a Charizard Venusaur. Um, and then... Uh, I don't have an Ice move to take care of it. Uh, I'll send out the Superior, I suppose? Uh, send out the Superior... Uh, that way, this guy, um, this Amoongus, doesn't really have a lot of effect on these guys. No Rage Powder, no Spores or anything like that, which is nice. I need to be careful for these guys, but oh well. Uh, and I will... Well, I'm not... Mm, no. I'm going to send out the Tyranitar. Tyranitar? Yeah, Tyranitar. Alright. Uh, a Meowstic and a Weavile. Oh! Okay... Interesting. I'm not quite sure. Sorry. Nope. Keep hitting my microphone. Sorry about that. Um, Alright, so we got the Weavile. He probably wants to do some sort of ice move against this guy. Um, I don't think it has Encore, so I should be alright if I just do a double protect at the moment. Yeah, okay. So he's probably going to set up the light screens and the reflects uh, while this Weavile goes on the attack. It's a very interesting lead, I have to be honest, because this Weavile, I mean, uh, I mean, he's a hard hitter and he's very fast, uh, and I guess that's what he uses it for, but, okay, so here's the fake out and here's the knockoff, alright. Let's see. Because, hmm. I don't know, when we had our Weavile, we could set up the Reflect. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it had a white screen. Uh, but it did have the uh, Reflect, it did have the Fake Out, uh, the Icy Wind. So usually I use it, that is, for a, a fast set up. But in this case, I mean, you don't need to, because it has a pretty good attack anyway. Um, however, that's not my concern at the moment. Heat Wave should take care of it. Um, and I'm going to go for the Amnesia. Okay, so he switched um, the Intimidate. Doesn't really do much. Okay, so he has the Thunder Wave. Uh, here goes the Amnesia. Okay, he's paralyzed. Mm, okay, not so great, but oh well. I will work with it. Okay, so now he's going to probably set up the Mega. 
which would be uh, a good move. Um, I guess we could go for the heat wave. I mean, he's going to resist it, um, but it might knock that meow stick down for a bit. And I'm going to go for oh, that, I'm not quite sure what that Salamence is going to do. I'm going to go for the uh, the Giga Drain against this uh, Salamence. Hopefully, I mean, it's not going to do again, not that much. But oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, super effective because it has aerial weight. Is it is it aerial weight? Aerial weight, aerial weight. Okay, put an extra vowel in there. It has aerial weight. I don't like that. Mm, okay, all right, all right, all right. This guy, Swagger. I like it. I like it very much. So. All right, so unnerve. He probably doesn't have a berry, but oh well. Uh, so I'm gonna just try for the, uh, another heat wave, uh, and I'm gonna try for I could try a thunder fang, or I could just try a rock slide. Um, I could probably see that I'm not gonna win this one. Uh, if I can take that meow stick out, then I should be all right. The yeah, okay. Here goes the rock slide. Doesn't really do much against my tyranitar, and it flinched. Of course it flinched. Why wouldn't it flinch? All right, all right. <sighs> okay, so anyway, I can hit him with the dragon pulse because I am slightly slower. So he might actually go for another aerial weight. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for another rock slide. Uh, he's probably gonna go for. Nope. See? Aha! I won't let him return, yeah, see? N Come on, I can't do anything! Oh, no. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess I need to set him up as bait. Come on, just hit him. Just hit him once, just hit him. Hit him, hit him, no! I could have seen that one coming. Yes, finally! Are you dead? Mm. 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 Keeping myself from screaming. Oh, sure, he's confused. Why not? So now he has to. <laughs> that is an excellent team, Charizard MID. Man alive. Uh, yep. Excellent. Really excellent. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm just talking with this guy. Um, but he made this perfect, perfect use of this uh, Meow Stick. Let's see what he has. Fake Out, Thunder Wave, and Swagger. I mean... The hacks on this thing are incredible. He uses the Thunder Wave, well, the Fake Out, of course, first, um, and then the Thunder Wave in order to actually, you know, make me uh, paralyze. The Swagger, of course, uh, to put confusion on me. And then for crying out loud, he has a Rock Slide on his Salamence, which has, like, 30%? Is it 30% or 10% chance uh, that it flinches? Either one. Uh, so, eventually, you know, these... Uh, these things just compile onto themselves, and not to mention that my um, rock slide also missed. It could have killed the Salamence, but oh well. Uh, you know, it was, it just compiled all these uh, status conditions uh, compiled on themselves, and that's exactly what he's doing. And it's an amazing strategy, actually, to be perfectly honest. I've never seen it uh, used to this uh, proficiency. I mean, I don't, I don't mind hacks, you know, I use um, hacks here and there as well, you know. Not as much as he does, um, 
But you know what? Don't let anyone tell you, oh, you're using too much hacks. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know what? That's strategy. It's not called hack. It's called strategy. So you can use it. Um, so, but anyway, that's my two cents. I, I'm just really um, hyped about this battle. It was an awesome, awesome way to see how he used his strategy. And look, after this, we just had a nice, good conversation. Now, I'm not going to go through all of it, um, but it was just, uh, it was awesome to actually see, you know, just another person who loves, you know, strategy. But anyway, I'm now going to go and look for my second battle. Hopefully this video won't be too long, but hey, if it is, um, I hope you're sitting down for it. <laughs> All right, next battle. All right. So let's see what we got. Uh, okay, so we got the Verisian, right? And we had trouble with that guy last time, as uh, you probably remember. Um, and let's see, we got this Ladias, which is a possible Mega. Um, this is a possible Mega, and I think it might be. Uh, and this Scizor is a possible Mega, so either one of these. Uh, we got the Milotic. Uh, you got this, um, this, um, Landorus, not in its T form, so that's interesting. Probably just Sheer Force. We got a Raikou. You hardly ever see a Raikou. That's kind of cool. Uh, and you got this Scizor. Now, I'm going to send out the Charizard and the Venusaur. No. Um, I want to send out Superior? I guess it's good to go for the Superior. Um, yeah, okay. Superior, Meowstic. I'm going to go for the... Or, uh, Superior? Yeah, okay. I want to go for the Superior. Uh, I want to go for the... Um, do I need the Gliscor? Do I need the Gliscor? Uh, I want the Charizard to kill that thing and that thing, uh, and I need something to finish this guy off, um, which I guess could be the superior, but... Uh, um, Tyranitar, alright. Alright, here comes the, oh, Verisian and the Scizor. Interesting. What's he playing at? Because he saw, I mean, I think so. I think he might have, and if he didn't, oh, that's fine too, I suppose. But uh, I think he saw that it was a, uh, a a sunlight team. So why would he send this this particular one out? Hmm. So why would he send this out? I think it's because this guy actually has Stone Edge, right? So I need to be very careful. But this guy also has Bug Bite, which would work uh, not so well against this guy. Um, in other words, I don't want to reveal my hidden power ground yet, uh, but I might need to. I might, I might need to force my hand. Uh, or I could just set up this uh, the Weave Storm first, and then go for the Hidden Power Ground. Alright, so I'm going to go for the Weave Storm first, um, and I'm going to fake out that Scizor. Why? Uh, okay, so it is the Mega Scizor. Alright. Um, he uses Double Protect to ward off any of my fake outs. Very, very strategic. I like it. Um, so now we're on equal playing fields. Alright, now. This guy has Sacred Sword, so I'm thinking he's a physical, right? He doesn't need to be, um, he could also be a special, but I think he's a physical, and this guy's definitely a physical. Although I need to be careful for its Bug Bite, because a Bug Bite from this guy could definitely kill this guy. Uh, and it has Technician, still has Technician. All right, this is bad. This is very bad. All right, all right, all right, all right. I will work with it. I will work with it. I'm gonna, uh... I'm going to switch out the Charizard, or I'm going to switch in the Charizard, I'm going to switch out the Superior, switch in the Charizard, uh, and I'm going to set up, the, set up the Reflect, set up the Reflect, set up the Reflect, I can't speak today, then again I can never speak, I don't know why, yeah, okay, see, he used the Weep Blade, so it's a definite, uh, oh, look, how lovely, oh, oh well, um, but now, okay, so he is faster, I don't know if he has a Stone Edge or not. That would seem logical. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to protect for a sec. And I want to set up the light screen. So I'm going to set up the light screen. Um, because I want to. I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch. Yeah. So he's dead. And Stone Edge. Aha! See? I knew it. I knew it had a Stone Edge. 
the rock slide, the superpower, or the assurance. It's a fighting type, so can I take care of it with something like that? Oh boy. If I had something faster than that. See, I don't really... Well, I guess I do, but I didn't uh, bring out my Venusaur, so I don't really have something fast to combat that thing. Not to mention, it wouldn't really do much. Oh boy. Verisian. Two Verisian in two episodes. Why Verisian? Why Verisian? Alright, alright. Okay, so it's gonna go for another one of these. Um... Let's take care of this, uh... This scissor. He might actually bullet punch me, uh, and kill me before I have the chance. Yeah, bullet punch. Aha! You shall not defeat me! Aha! Oh, wow, I pulled out two protects. Oh, I forgot I had that. Alright, so I'm gonna switch out the superior. Or switch in the superior, switch out the other thing. Anyway, I... You... Okay, so, now he knows, it's like, oh, well, he can't do another, uh, oh, yeah, okay, so he doesn't really do much. Life Orb. No. 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 He was so close. He was so close. He was so close. He was so close. And... It's a Verisian with a... Life orb. Interesting. Well, guess I'm gonna need to go for the hidden power ground. Hidden power ground. Superpower. Bullet punch. Whoop! You're gone. Close combat. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. No. 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 I. Oh, right. Oh. Yes. I got him. 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 Okay. Whoo! I got him. I forgot about the effects of superpower, but oh well, I'll work with it. This guy, this guy, this guy. Okay, so I have one turn of sun left. I better make it work. Um, dragon, 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 heat wave. With these ancient power. I mean, it could go for the heat wave, but. I'm gonna go for the solar beam. Try to kill that thing. Once and for all. Oh no! He used the protect! Okay, well the psychic doesn't really do much, but... Dang! Alright. See, I think he knew. I think he knew. I think he knew. Alright. Uh, yeah. Just go for it again. This time I'm gonna go for a, a heat wave. Why? Because it's really my only chance of guy. I get, I get, I get, sludge bomb. Uh, how does it have a sludge bomb? Why does it have a sludge bomb? It missed? Um, well. Well, guys, it's been fun. Yeah, no way I'm gonna actually be able to do that. Unless. No, I couldn't do it. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's not very effective. Okay, here goes that. Earth power. Ah, okay. Psychic. So I'm guessing he has the choice scarf. Yeah, alright. He's dead. Good game. Good game. Yeah. Yeah, alright. So, again, a little surprised about the uh, Verisian. Um, it's not a problem, you know, it's just usually you don't see Verisian, and now you saw two of them in two episodes. Uh, so, I mean, that Verisian was uh, difficult to take care of. Why? Because Verisian is fast, and it also has Stone Edge, which is a powerful counter against my Charizard, right? And my Charizard is one of the only ones that can actually take it out. Um, so, so if you actually are going to follow this team, just make sure you have something to battle Verisian with. Uh, maybe something like a Tailwind or something, that way it can hit a little faster. But anyway, so, oh, yeah, so that's all for now. Uh, I'm probably going to leave this episode here. 
Tomorrow, again, probably going to be a little bit more of a fun episode. I'm not quite sure. Well, actually, you know what? Mm, yeah, okay. Tomorrow, we're actually going to give some of our Pokemon a couple of names, right? We're going to give uh, give these guys some names. Um, we might give these guys some names. Uh, and if I'm correct, we might even give these guys some names. And just have a, a battle with them as well, right? So, uh, that's probably what's going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know what? I might feel spontaneous. We might do something completely different. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, like I said. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this episode, then like, subscribe, uh, you know, share with a friend. You know, that would all be highly uh, appreciated. Again, it's not necessary. You know, it's a free country. Uh, so if you don't like it, then that's fine too. But anyway, uh, that's enough blabbing for me. So um, do I have any? No, I don't have anything else to report. So this is John Fillmore signing off and wishing everyone on the opposite side of the screen, a very pleasant day. Goodbye!